I want to talk to y'all today about the institution of marriage. Now, the reason I call it an institution because it's just what it is. Every institution is set up to make money, i.e. marriage. I'm sorry, that's just how I feel. I'll explain why. Think about it like this, all right? Marriage, at the end of the day, in America especially, 50% of everybody that gets married gets divorced, all right? And out of that 50% that are divorced, 25 divorced because of Facebook. So you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. 25% of all relationships start on the line, on the internet. So go to Facebook if you want to get some pussy. But back to marriage. All right, now the thing is that, once again, everybody, uh, excuse me, not everybody, but when you get married, number one reason that people divorce is because of money. Because it's either lack thereof, they're not making enough. Uh, baby, I told you I would marry you if you gave me a million dollars in a house. I'm talking about women because that's what they usually think because they're bargaining right now. Thing is, a woman will be like, okay, you cool, I want to be with you. Um, but I see this other nigga with a lot of money, he promised me this. And you'll be like, he'll, she'll be thinking like, I really love him. I want to be with him because I really love him. But this nigga got a lot of money. And if she choose the broke nigga over the rich nigga, broke nigga. My God, please keep this bitch happy because she will bring up one day, oh my God, I should have been with the other dude. It's going to flip your lid and you're going to kill this bitch. All right? Trust me. I know. I know. So, <laughs> from personal experiences, that shit will fuck you up. Like, bitch, fuck you then. Go with the nigga with the money, right? But marriage is just an institution that's set up to make money. And there was one guy I was talking to. He was like, man, marriage is the worst business decision you could ever make. He said, if you, don't, if you want kids, marriage is cool. But if you don't, don't get married. And I understand that. I can't see myself just settling down with one woman for the rest of my life. That's like eating the same thing day after day after day after day after day. Bitch, I'm not Asian. I can't eat rice every day. That's not going to work for me. All right? I need some variety in my life. Give me a steak. Give me a salad. Give me a potato one day. Give me some scrimps the next. I need variety. All right? I have a hard enough time dealing with my damn self. All right? And I've been with myself all my motherfucking life. What do you? Why do you think I'm going to be with you for the rest of, for basically longer than I've been living? It's motherfuckers I know that have been married for 60 years. I'm like, damn, you know, like, you don't have brothers and sisters that live that long. Like, th what the fuck? All right. Maybe I could. Maybe I didn't meet that right one. Huh? Maybe I didn't meet that special one. They kind of take me out of this. But while I'm still in my bachelor mode, I'm not a, like opposed to marriage. I just don't ever see it happening. You know, I only can't even button up my collar without getting nervous. Right. Shit, I don't even know. I mean, I don't even think we was meant to be married. I remember way back when niggas had like 15, 20 wives. If we was in different cultures, if we were in Africa and this was in America, pfft, fuck it. I would be looked down upon if I only had one wife. I would be the fucking, uh, not the, uh, nah, what's the, uh, unnormal. I'd be the, uh, exception. I wouldn't be the status quo. I'd be the, uh, the nigga going against the grain, right? If I had one wife. So it's all about culture. It's all about where you live and, you know, and your societal values and basically how you progress traditionally, you know, in society. You know, like marriage is... Everybody, I'm telling you, in America, is harps on that. You know, and it's fucked up because your status depends on that. Like, you can't be president and be single. Where they do that at? You can't be a CEO of a company and be single. That's not going to happen. So, think about marriage, all right? Reason people respect married people, I'm going to say this, I'm going to get real quick. Let's just say I had a ring, right? All right? A lot of y'all motherfuckers out there probably thinking nobody would ever marry this asshole. And you're probably right. But let's just say you saw a ring on my motherfucker finger. You have to think to yourself like, damn, well, at least one motherfucker trusts his ass, right? So, like I said, marriage, fudge it or not, suck it.